y'all good morning how are y'all today i'm doing awesome thank you for asking i am about to leave for work but um, i was about to sit down why am i going to sit down i'm about to leave for work that doesn't make sense i just did an impromptu photo shoot i have a letterboard sign that i bought from hobby lobby yesterday y'all remember you went on the trip with me and i bought it yesterday it's 50 percent off by the way if you're looking and so I put on there, Jessica and I did need a realtor, but we couldn't find the question mark, first of all. Second of all, well, we just couldn't find the question mark. That was kind of the thing. Cause it says need a realtor, like need a realtor, need a realtor, need a realtor. Like, I, you know, what, what kind of emotion went with that? I don't know because it just was kind of a, just vague need a realtor i don't know so i changed up the board this morning and i took um self time shots outside and then i did like a selfie outside and i put if you need a realtor dot 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 give me a call what so uh i haven't posted it yet but i'm going to and i'm going to put it on my facebook because i'm trying to really finish 2019 strong as far as like my realty business goes my um influencer content stuff that's going really well i did um a giveaway for rubbermaid that went really well in my opinion and i also did a little short sponsored post from wendy's about their dollar menu which is delish i'm not even gonna lie it's delish and so now i i just you know i need to 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 work it all work all the angles and just pursue and follow my dreams but Speaking of that, so one of the things that I was thinking I needed to do was get up early. And you remember how I was like, I want to be in the shower by 7.15 and blah, blah, blah. So the purpose or one of the purposes of me getting up was to spend time with Marvin. And um, I'm doing that. And I, I have been getting up since like last week. I've been getting up early. I've made our breakfast together. And then, um, you know, like he's getting ready, I'm getting ready, I'm cleaning up and I'm doing all the little things. But my, in my mind, I was like, I need to be in the shower at 7.15. Well, Marvin like leaves at 7.15. So it really wasn't working out for me to be in the shower. And then I was like, oh, I didn't get in the shower by 7.15. Not like anybody was like holding, you know, like, oh, you need to be in the shower. But you know what I'm saying? Like in my mind, I, I had set this goal for myself. So I said to myself this morning, I said, self, why not move that time back to 7.30, you know, or forward to 7.30 and give yourself a little bit of wiggle room. That way you can be up talking with Marvin, doing all the things that you have been doing in the morning, but you're not pressed for like a, oh my gosh, it's 7.15, I've got to go. Like, we'll wait till he's gone and then I can go do my thing and, and get ready for work. And so I think that's what I'm gonna do. Um, tomorrow though, the, the uh, builder, Tommy, is supposed to come over with um, one of the tile guys to look at some things um, at the house. So um, if he comes, uh, well, not if he comes, I, I, I'll need to be ready early because he's coming at 8.30. In theory, I could be ready still by 8.30, but um, I wanna get a little bit earlier start to my day just to make sure that I'm like, like, you know, ready ready for company to come in the house but um so anyway th but that's tomorrow so today the only thing i have planned right now is i am going to run to hobby lobby to see if they have like a letter sorter thing i'm also going to look on amazon but uh i'm also going to oh i have to a showing today two showings did i already mention that i'm going to go shoot show two houses today to a client it's a new client actually so do you hear my do you hear my cat you see a bird out there there must be some sort of little bird out there he wants to go catch it he wants to play with it and be friends <laughs> uh, probably it's not what he's planning but um he's an inside cat i do not let my cats out ever and um <clears throat> i know some people do but i don't and um they're also not declawed because they say it's very inhumane and it hurts them. My other cats were declawed. We have not had huge issue issues with them clawing at the furniture. We've had some. 
Today I'm wearing this black and white check shirt. Um, I didn't, I need to get back on my keto because like this area right here needs a little bit of work. Uh, I also have on jeans and um, these are I think Calvin Klein's and then I have on my Nikes. This is kind of my standard uniform. I just wear some sort of top, some jeans and comfy shoes. That's what I prefer. I used to wear heels every single day when I worked at the bank, when I worked at Sears, Towny Small, store number 1187. I used to wear um, heels every day. I don't anymore because I'm just like, no, oh, that's too much. Plus, I have varicose veins. Did you need to know that? Probably not, but now you do. All right, I'm gonna go. Give me a hot chocolate and um, get some work done. I got my hot chocolate from Starbucks. It's a venti because that's that's how I do it. And I'm about to run in and mail this back. So uh, the kids, the Washington kids, had gotten me a Mac pen thing, like a, a pencil thing, to go with my iPad, which I, oh, I wanted it and I'm so excited about it. They got that for me, but um, they got me the wrong one. So they ordered the right one, and then this one has to be returned, and so I have to mail it off today. It has to be mailed off by the 13th, I think, or something like that. So anyway, I'm at Parcel Express here in Mesquite, Texas. What? And I'm getting ready to mail this off, and then my office is right down the street. So I'll skedaddle over there, get that done, get this done, then get over there, and get that stuff done, go do the showing, have an awesome day. That's my plan. Welcome to Hot Chocolate Chat. Today I'm drinking a hot chocolate from Starbucks. It tastes really good today. I'm not a beauty uh, guru person. That's my daughter cat. But I'm trying to replicate the Snapchat filters. Um, and okay, like this filter right here. See how like the eye makeup looks? I want I want to copy that. Or like this one. See how my eyes look? I like it. So I need, I need to figure out a way to replicate this. Basically what I'm thinking is they put like a lot more, well, it looks like they wear fake eyelashes to be honest. And I don't necessarily want to wear fake eyelashes or anything like that or get lash extensions. No, I don't want to do that. But I've typically only worn brown eyeliner and recently I've been wearing this plum colored eyeliner. So maybe I need to switch to black. What do y'all think about that? I think it. I think the key is the black eyeliner, but I'm sure that there's a trick to it because it can't be that easy. What do y'all think? I think probably the key is like the black eyeliner, using black eyeliner as opposed to the other colors, but it it can't be that easy. So when you see this, this wherever you're seeing it, send it to your beauty guru friends and say, help help this lady out. So that's what I want to talk about today. I actually need your help. I need you to find someone that can show me how to make my eyes look like those Snapchat filters. And it's essentially for no reason. I don't have an event to go to or anything like that. And I'll probably do it like twice and then go, okay, that's work. Or send me the link to like a YouTube video. I need to just Google. And I tried it the other day, but I didn't really find any like this. And when I say like this, I mean like what I'm looking for, the look that I'm trying to achieve. All right, y'all, that's it. That's what I want to talk about. So give me all the help, give me all the tips, give me all the tricks. I'm waiting to hear. Headed out to JC's Burger House, Burger Bar. Can't remember which one it's called. We call it JC's. Michael is getting a patty melt with onion rings and I'm getting a JC's Classic. No pickles and french fries and a strawberry shake. But y'all gonna say, hey Lisa, I thought you were gonna, I thought you were gonna try to like do like keto. Y'all, we're starting on Monday, okay? And we, I'm gonna meal prep on Sunday. I'm gonna make myself deviled eggs. Speaking of, I need to stop by the store. But, um, wow, almost lost you. I'm gonna make deviled eggs as a prep. I'm gonna make some hamburger patties. I have to admit, JC's Burger Bar makes really good onion rings, or at least they smell really delicious in my car right now. Heading to go show a client 
a property. It's just a few minutes away. And then we'll let's come back get here. started. Drive safely. Okay, turn let's left. get Okay, well, let me get out to the area where I can turn. So, um, it'll take me just a few minutes to get there, and I'll show a property, then we'll go see another one, and then figure out if she wants to see any more or if she wants to apply for one of those. So, hoping for a good outcome. There's traffic, of course. And then I need to call Marvin really quick and just say, like, hey, babe, you leaving work? Because he's been working so much lately, he needs to rest and leave work on time. So, anyway, that's what we're doing now. Two. Zero. 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 Same voice every time. I'm in Tom Thumb now, and Marvin is about to text me what I need to get. I do know baby wipes are on the list, so I'm going to get those. I've already got the ruffles. These are two for nine dollars. He said eggs are on sale for six. He just texted me. He said eggs are on sale for sixty-nine cents. So I'm going to get some of those. Three salads because they're three for ten dollars, and whatever else he just texted me. So I'm sure he texted me. Bananas. He started in layman. I said. Text me, text me, because I will not remember. Zero. It's really hard for me to remember. So um, they have like these cute little things, like like these are um, hand and face wipes. Like those are cute, but I'm just like, well, why don't you just use a wipe? I mean, are they like smaller, whatever? Anyway. Um, also, they have these things, which I kind of like for travel. Uh, these are refillable, but these are $5. And I'm like, I don't know. I don't even need a little pop-up thing in the middle. I just like to have like a cute container. I normally use a Ziploc baggie. So I was like, oh, that's cute. That's a cuter container than a Ziploc baggie. But I don't want to pay $5. I'll just take a Ziploc baggie. Okay, so shopping trip is done I need a new bra y'all because this one is kind of cutting into my side right here or quite possibly I need to lose some weight you know what I'm saying <sighs> it's probably that I am headed home now I bought the bananas I bought the salad make sure nobody's coming I bought beef jerky teriyaki flavor. I bought, Marvin doesn't know this, but I bought some biscuits because tomorrow I'm going to surprise him by making biscuits and gravy for breakfast instead of just the uh, per use eggs, hard boiled eggs, because that's what we have been having for the last like five times that I've made breakfast. And so I thought, Let's be, a, let's be a little bit, you know, like adventurous, a little bit crazy. And let's make some biscuits and gravy in the morning. I couldn't look. Can I not talk? Okay, so this person's waiting on me. All right, let me grab you because I'm about to go. It's time for another episode of Marvelous Meals. And tonight we're making chicken sausage penne. I don't know why it doesn't say like penny pasta, but it's just chicken sausage penne. Or penny, penne, I'm trying to be fancy. But it calls for chicken sausage, penne regatta, Parmesan cheese, chili flakes, Roma tomato, whole steamed peeled tomatoes, garlic, and I think that's it. Oh, and butter and cooking oil. So the first step is to crush the garlic right here. And I've already started the water um, to boil and I'm preheating the oven. Um, it says it's gonna take five minute prep time, 45 minutes till it's ready. It's 6.17, we'll see how it goes. I have crushed the garlic and roughly chopped the tomatoes. I've emptied the whole tomatoes into here and I'm gonna squish it with my hands. Marvin is over there. He's joined me for Marvelous Meals with Marvin and Lisa and he is going to, he's put the pasta into the dish and we're preheating the oven. This is about to go into the oven. This being this right here. We're going to be roasting our sauce and cooking the pasta. And we're, after the pasta's done, then we're going to cook the sausage and mix it all together. It's going to be yummy. There you go. Hey guys. Um, Marvin, can you be my cameraman? That's really not a good angle. Um, I am crushing, gently crushing, and I look. 
Got some, yeah, that's, that's a close up. So I got some on me. And I was trying to do it like so carefully so as not to like, you know, to squirt out anywhere and then it right on me. So I think I've broken it up enough. What do you think, babe? Does it look yeah. broken? Hope you washed your hands. I did wash my hands right before I asked. Mm. Like why wouldn't I wash my hands? The pasta has about a minute more to cook. We just put in the uh, sauce mixture. It has garlic, butter, roasted, or whole tomatoes, crushed up, and then squirted on me. Um, Roma tomato chopped up and sprinkled on top with some salt and pepper and chili flakes. And as soon as we're done with the pasta in the pot, we're gonna take it out, reserve a fourth of a cup, and then we're going to Put, drizzle some oil, cook the sausage, break it up till it's crumbly in little pieces, and then we'll put everything together, correct? I think that's where. See, every plate just needs to come and like help us out. And like come like film a, a video, like we'll try out all their recipes. We'll try them all. Even the fish ones that I don't, I don't like fish. We'll try them all. And that way we can tell you if like regular people, like regular Marvin and Lisa's can do the every plate meals. I'm just saying, it would be a hit. Now, Marvin is preparing the chicken sausage. He's browning it up and making sure it's all crumbled up. We still have about 20 minutes left on the sauce being cooked. And Sox is over here trying to inspect the table, but he's not allowed on the table and he knows it. Wait, I've changed clothes because I got tomato juice on it. We have one minute until the pasta sauce should be done. It's still it's bubbling. It does smell fragrant. Do you say, think it smells fragrant, honey? Mm -hmm. So good on those accounts. And we're just gonna have to mix everything together and then try it. And so now what it's, seven o'clock so we're about on schedule actually we're about on schedule for once it's done and it looks like it turned out great it was less than an hour about 55 minutes from start to finish and now we're ready to eat well it looks like it might rain today or tonight right yep. And so Marvin and I are just sitting out on our front porch, enjoying the nice evening weather. And he's eating ice cream and I'm gonna work a little bit. It's a nice night. Mm -hmm. Oh, shucks. That scared me. <laughs> he threw trash or hit you through trash. And I saw, anyway, there's, there's a jack in the box next to us and I saw him throwing the trash in and scared me. I'll go ahead and end the vlog here. And don't forget guys, be kind to others and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.